Hi there guys and welcome to another edition of Extremely Cocky's War Review. Um, got a win to show you after uh, the last War Review was um, against the uh, Hakuna Matata who um, were the best clan we've ever come against. Um, so um, I'm just going to quickly sh briefly show you 808 Kanaka um, because of there was uh, several maintenance breaks after the big maintenance break um, uh, all of the replays are unavailable um, so I'll just breeze through this quickly um, but we uh, we thrashed these guys by 17 stars um, their highest three stars was against JT which um, wasn't too bad actually JT's got a quick, good base um, but as you can see they didn't even hit on number two no stars on number three um, and they left excuse me, stars all over the place and um, so our highest three stars was against base number four for myself um, and then JT on base number six and um, most heroic was uh, Rich and uh, most heroic defence was Getter. So, um, can't show you that. <coughs> um, so, I shall show you the most recent one um, before they do another maintenance break and I lose the opportunity to do so. Um, so this was against Seahawks. Um, I, I, I don't actually know who the Seahawks are. I'm sure you can tell I'm not American. Um, but I believe they're some sort of football team and um, Extremely Cocky, which is the clan I'm in, um, is from the Cox. Uh, I know I'm going to get grief about getting this wrong, um, but it's a college football team is where we get our name from. Um, so it was quite interesting to, uh, it was, yeah, we had a bit of banter with the clan. Um, anyway, we absolutely thumped these guys, um, as you can see by 18 stars. Um, their highest three stars uh, was all the way down here on um, our top TH8, who is Bane. And, um, they left stars all over the place. I mean, the stars down the bottom, the stars in the middle, and there's practically no stars at the top. Um, now, I'll show you ours. Um, we also left stars um, here, there, and everywhere. Um, so 15, 14, um, rushed TH10s, 12, and 11. Um, but the reason we didn't clean as well as we should have done is simply because, come towards the end of the war, we knew they couldn't beat us. Um, I mean, well, yeah, they couldn't beat us. Um, so uh, it's very rare for uh, um, us to announce loot runs, uh, but loot runs were announced, um, which is why we didn't clean all the lower stars, not because we couldn't. So um, our highest three stars was against base number six. Um, that was myself uh, doing surgical hogs. Um, and I recently did a surgical hogs video um, uh, more or less what not to do um, as my last one I did was 99% um, uh, and this is <laughs> this is also <laughs> not what to do um, I completely as you'll see I'm coming in here you can see the golems down already I'm coming in here now it's not an ideal place to come in because and and, and this is uh, one way to help avoid social hogs is the side where your queen is ie the side that they're going to try and come in which is the side that I'm trying to come in um, fill it with as much crap as you can so there's an outside weapon which means anything dropped is going to head towards that um, and then the wizards are going to be uh, move through these buildings extremely slowly which gives their queen more time uh, as, as, as does their defences now um, you'll see I dropped my heal spell which is where I wanted to drop it straight over that box there um, what I should have done is drop it uh, just on that intersection there which would have achieved the same thing and directed my wizards to where I wanted them to go so uh, I completely messed up the um, uh, the kill squad um, but the, the, the as you can see I'm gonna I'm gonna come in the top here there are, there are it's impossible for there to be any big bombs up top here um, so uh, I was quite lucky in that respect that the hogs were mainly untouched so um, anyway I'll stop boring you here's what happened Um, so half my wizards are down, the witch is down, the uh, heroes are down, 
um, and my wall breakers. Now it's extremely important that if uh, your army is as slim as this one is, is that you make sure you, your wall breakers do their job. And what I didn't do is pay attention to what the mortars were doing because um, I've gone past it now, but I managed to put my wall breakers in directly on top of a mortar shell. So um, I didn't break through this wall here. Um, so there goes the rage. Now I haven't even pulled the clan castle at this point, so it's more or less useless doing the rage when I did it. You, you can see I've put the jump spell where I wanted it to be, but what I wasn't doing is paying attention to my heroes because they have gone for a wander and I should have put it there and then that would have directed my heroes to where I wanted them to be. So it's an absolute miracle I managed to kill the clan castle, but I did. So I've raged the king, king's dead, he's no good to me. In come the hogs. Now, both expos are on those golems, which is why I did that. However, um, for whatever reason, the, the, the right-hand expo did actually move uh, towards the hogs. So I've, I've covered almost the entire base where the hogs could be um, with heal spells, so that was a good a good heal spell placement. Um, having used them both early, uh, it means I, 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 yeah, it runs the risk of not, uh, for instance, if that had been a double bomb, all my hogs would have gone then. Um, but as it was, it was okay. I don't know why I didn't drop the poison spell on the um, on the skeletons. That's what I had it for. Uh, so mistakes left, right, and centre. Sometimes what the tiniest mistake can ruin an attack. Sometimes you get lucky, you do everything wrong, and uh, somehow you still get the three stars. So it's just the way the cookie crumbles, as they say. Um, sorry, I'll just speed this up because it's just clean up. Um, now, the second highest three stars uh, was myself as well. I'm not going to bore you with that. I will show somebody else. Um, and uh, I don't mean to be mean to Getter, um, but he came all the way down from uh, base three to base eight. Um, so it's not, again, I do apologize, Getter, not meaning to be rude, but it's not exactly. Um... So what I'll do is I'll show you, uh, I'll show you Studley Hungwell's attack. Um, against base 9 instead because he's a TH9 now he as far as I can tell anyway he uses an identical army every time uh, and it works for him and he gets 3 stars with a go wipe with 3 wizards uh, through 3 witches chucked in um, so he's got his poison down on the dragon that accumulator is going to kick in any second with those wizards boom dragon gone there it goes and we've got all of those skeletons creating so much distraction um, with the golems as well. We've got the first heal spell to go down. Um, wall breakers have uh, gotten us through uh, into the middle section there. Rage to get them going. Um, we've got uh, beckers going around the right. We don't have anything going around, sorry, going around the left. We don't have anything going around the right. Um, as you'll see, it won't be an issue. And there's the last rage. So at this point, we've still got half the base to do. The Queen's just used her ability. We've still got a, a golem intact. There goes the queen. Crucially, we've still got a witch creating lots of distraction for weapons. Uh, that golem is taking all of the heat from the wizard tower. There's only a few point defences plus a wizard tower left, so they shouldn't cause too much grief for the uh, for the peckers. T 
10 seconds left, he's not going to do it. <laughs> And that's it done. Fantastic three stars by Catmate. Well done. Um, let's have a look to see who got most heroic, which was uh, Jem Bojangles. Uh, Jem, I know you asked me to do uh, Eye of the Tiger for your attack, um, but uh, I'm sure you can hear the generator in the background. I'm actually in a B and Q car park. Um, I'm a very, very busy person, so um, I have to just do these when and where I can. Um, so no Eye of the Tiger soundtrack for your attack, I'm afraid, Gem. And I'm tone deaf. I would sing it for you, but I'm not going to. So Gem's doing a Dragon Splash. Somebody gave her level 5 loons. Who was that? Oh no, that wasn't the clan castle. Here comes the clan castle. Let them off. So obviously we took out one of the air defences uh, with the lightning. And you see we got we got left with a weapon up the top there. Um, so the loons were temporarily distracted, um, but. These dragons now are going to take all of the heat. And hopefully the loons will uh, take out all of the defences. Once that wizard tower is gone, there you go. There's no stopping them now. There goes the last defence. Uh, fantastic three stars by Jen there, going uh, one above a number. So let's have a look at Clash of Clans' uh, most heroic defence, um, which was Studley Hungwell as well. Um, so this is Cap's base. He is uh, defending against a lava loon, um, so and from a TH10 as well. So. Um, Put a couple of rages in too early, um, so that was a waste. Uh, he's also frozen some defences that aren't firing at anything, so that was a waste. Uh, he's dropped a heal spell on nothing, that was a waste. And um, why he's attempting to do this with only one Lava Hound is uh, beyond me. Um, I think he had another one in the clan castle, but even so. I mean, it's as simple as this. Five, <laughs> five hounds, twenty loons, two heroes, and you've got three stars uh, against any town hall nine. I can't see a huge amount of spaces for Cat to have double bombs, so Hogs would have worked too. But uh, anyway, you would expect a town hall ten with an extra spell. Um, You know, th this should be a guaranteed three stars. Um, obviously, uh, you saw at the beginning, he, he, he launched the attack into the blower as well. Um, never ideal. And the dragon's just going to blow these two out. And 43% uh, from um, base number one. <laughs> Uh, against base number seven um, and I did say to the clan that I would show a lot of their attacks because they were the funniest attacks we've ever seen uh, um, while it would be amusing uh, I can't bring myself to do it um, but I mean just just look look at <laughs> just look at it um, their top their top guy a co-leader th10 um, went for base number seven no stars and uh, did base 16, three stars. Um, their base number two did eight and five. Um, and, you know, and it just goes on. Their base number four did 13 and 10. I mean, so yeah.
they were no good. Um, so let's have a look to see who we can feature. Let's have a look at Wu Tang's attack on base 24. Assuming this is a Dragon Splash as well. Yep. So, we've only got two air defense. Obviously, it's a TH7, so they've only got two air defense. Um, only one of them was any good. Um, so, we've lightninged the one that was good. Um, and then we're launching the attack uh, directly into. Um, the remaining air defence. Um, so once the dragons are down, we'll see the looms come in behind, and then they should more or less go for. Well, they might not go for the air defence. No, they veered off. Bit of an issue there, but uh, I'm sure we'll manage. Even put his king down yet. Oh, but here comes the king. <coughs> so the last loon has only just been defeated. Um, he only had five. Uh, he's a TH7, isn't he? No, so he only had four. Now we just got a bit of clean up to go. Fantastic three stars Wu Tang, welcome to the clan and uh, we're glad to have you mate. Um, so, uh, actually, I know who I should have featured and I forgot, so I'm going to do a double feature, I hope you don't mind. Um, but uh, this is Marcus, um, we go again. Now, you can see he's a TH10 because he's got a free spell. Um, however, when war was declared, Marcus was still a TH9. He only went to TH10 after war started. Um, so while he has a free spell, you can see he still only has 200 troops, and uh, obviously they're all still TH9. So um, effectively, he is a TH9, um, and he's going against their base number one, uh, their top TH10. So he's just pulled the clan castle with a couple of hogs. Um, I've mentioned this in other war reviews, um, people do it constantly. If you know for a fact that you're going to draw the clan castle into this corner, it may only save you two seconds, but how many times have you lost out on three stars because of two seconds? I know I have twice recently. Um, so. If, for instance, that's out of range of the Archer Tower, which it is, and you want to lure the Clan Castle, put your archers down first, then lure the Clan Castle, and instead of them hovering for two seconds doing nothing, they will head directly over to where the archers are. So he's, a long, he's launched his attack from... Uh, <clears throat> from uh, 9 o'clock. He's uh, put four earthquakes down just to open that middle section up um, and although he didn't want to kill the clan castle as you can see what's happened is is the delay in from, from them coming over from the far corner to here has allowed all of these wizards to be in the section in the exact section he wants them to be when he wants them to be and bam your dragon's gone as easy as that under one rage The wizards are raged on the town hall, that's gone in seconds, there that goes, um, and uh, it's a shame he didn't manage to just eke out 50% for the two stars, but again, any TH9 getting any amount of stars on a TH10 is a win. Um, they 
you'll see in a minute he's going to drop a couple of uh, minions just to try and eke out 50%. There they are at the top. I think had he have dropped uh, both of them, we might have got both of these collectors. No big deal. Probably wasn't going to be. Everything's worth 1% at TH10 anyway, so uh, it was very unlikely he was going to get the two stars, but to come so close. And there you go. Fantastic effort by Marcus on their number one. That was right at the end of the war. That was a loop run, um, but still job done. Okay, so that brings us to the end of another war review. Um, our current war has about eight hours left and uh, we are one star behind on the same amount of attacks. A um, little bit of work to do, can be done, and um, as soon as it's over I shall bring you the review. As always, thanks for watching and um, I keep, <laughs> I keep forgetting to mention this at the end, but um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you already know the channel's Lloyd Hardcastle. Um, if you're watching on the camcord, it's uh, Pablo N O one, Pablo number one. Um, do subscribe. Cheers, guys. Bye.